in moments of invigoration, I am talking about attitude for success. And we'll be looking at three points. First of all, when you talk about attitude for success, you should also know that there is an attitude for failure. Secondly, anything you have not failed, you have not learned anything about that thing. Some of us, we are scared to fail, we are scared to make mistakes, and that fear makes us end up making mistakes. Failure is a learning process, so do not be afraid to fail. Thirdly, don't expect to tread on the path of failure and arrive at the destination of success. You cannot do things that will not make you successful and you expect a miracle or magic to happen and you end up being successful. Let us take our scripture reading from James chapter 2. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without work is dead. There are three major attitudes for success. We have more than three, but I've just picked three and I believe this will help us a lot. First of all, let's look at number one diligence diligence take a scripture reading from proverbs chapter 22 verse 29 from king james version seest thou a man diligent in his business he shall stand before kings he shall not stand before mere men you see diligence is one attribute is a major attribute and an attitude for a successful person you have to be diligent in all that you do number two humility humility let's take a scripture reference from first peter chapter 5 verse 5 to 6. likewise ye younger ones submit yourself unto the elders yea all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for god resisted the proud and give it grace to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. You see that even God does not like prideful people. You see successful people, people that are successful. I'm not talking about rich people. I'm talking about successful people. They are always humble. You see that is a major attribute. They are always humble. Number three, given. Given. Let's look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, please take note. And whatsoever ye do in words or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Do you see that? So those people they give, why do you think some people they just say, Oh, I want to do giveaway? I'm looking for people, so, so, so kind of people like I can give to. So there's some people they don't give to be known. They don't give because also the media will carry it and say, Oh, this person is giving this so so, so organization, they, they do give. No, they see it as a need and they see it as something whenever they give. When and they see smiles on the face of these persons, it is something that always brings fulfillment to them. Lastly, I want to round up with this Bible verse, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, that thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So in attitude for success, you don't just do these things in a day. Just like Joshua 1 verse 8 tells us, said, meditate in it day and night. You don't just be diligent to the all. For example, you have a small scale business. You don't just open in the morning and tomorrow you open in the evening. Next tomorrow you don't come at all. Your customers will be confused. Your clients will be confused. That's why you, your diligence comes in. If you are going in the morning, then keep to it. Be diligent all the time, day and night. Meditate in it day and night. It's not something you just do once in a day. You don't just study the word of God today and just in the next two months you don't study. No, that is not you being diligent. Start just like Joshua 1 verse 8 tells us. He said, that shall meditate in it day and night. By so doing, you shall make your way prosperous and have good success. Right now, I would love you to repeat this affirmation after me. I am diligent in all that I do. I am humble and submissive. I have a mindset of success. I succeed in anything I set my mind to do. I am loyal and honest. Failure is not associated with me. Amen.
To have access to more of our inspiring messages and teachings, please kindly subscribe to God Nature TV on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, God Nature Christian Center, and also God Nature Church. And please don't forget to send in your testimonies, your questions to our website, www.godnature.org.